Well, you should get off, all right? What? Bethany, I saw you dropped her off at the bus stop. What's this, around the clock surveillance? Mm, you know about that, don't you? What are you talking about? You. You've got to stop smothering her. I fancied the exercise, that's all. Oh, what, 20 yards there, 20 yards back? So? Yeah, but it's all the time. She's going to start suspecting something's <gasps> wrong. Get off, David. No, that's what you need to do. Look, she's my daughter. And if I think she needs me, I will do what I want. Yeah. OK, so if I put you down for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday... Yeah, that's fine. And then Wednesday and Friday lunch? Um, well, if I could just do the lunches and then that gives me a chance to see Bethany. But you just said you can do three evenings next week. Did I? Oh, right, well, yeah, that's... that's OK. Well, is it or isn't it? I don't want you letting me down last minute. No, it's fine, honestly. Whoa. Oh, my God! Hey, it's all right. It's only a bottle of beer. I saw it. Is she OK? Yeah, as far as I know. Callum's not around again, is he? Callum, no. I just thought with her being jumpy and all that. Yeah, well, she often gets like that. Mm. Again. Listen, me and Kylie are worried about you, yeah? Bethany knows you're acting weird. Now, Michelle, if people ask why... Well, it's hardly surprising I'm not myself, is it? This is hard for all of us, but you're gonna have to get a grip. How? It's like I said this morning. Give Bethany some space for a start, because if she works out what's happened and blabs, you'll go from smothering her to seeing her once every fortnight in a prison visiting room. So think about it. Was that all right with Rota? <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't concentrating. Well, you know, it is riveting stuff. I'm surprised you weren't more interested. No, but I'd be miffed if I was you. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Sorted now. Oh, God. What? I found a body in the canal. Really? Yeah, some bloke. Don't say you, though. How old? Thought to be in his 20s. When? Yesterday. Does it say how he died? Uh, it says police are treating his death as suspicious. Don't say anything else. I don't think you know him, do you? No. Um, is it all right if I take a little break? Uh, yeah, we're not busy, so... I won't be long. I'll tell you what I've never got. What? Why builders merchants give discount? You mean you'd rather pay full whack? No, but they all do it, don't they, yeah? Why don't they just drop the prices and have done with it? Because <laughs> then you wouldn't feel special, Gary boy. And we wouldn't want that. Tony. Oh, dear. Have you ever let me see Kylie or David? Uh, not since breakfast, no. Yeah, but look, when you see him, can you tell him that we might have a problem? On Callum's body. What? I've only just found out what we're gonna do. Oh, calm down. Calm down. What? Well, going to prison. You're telling me to calm stop down. Stop it. Keep your voice down. Just tell me exactly what's happened. Michelle was reading the Gazette. They found a body in the canal. It's a guy. Oh, He's in his 20s. What in the canal? They've not identified him yet. No, no, that's not Callum. How do you know? Well, after what we did, there's no way anyone could ever find him. But how can you be so sure? I just am. Um... Well, it's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? You throw his body in the canal, and then a few days later, they find a body. That's exactly what it is. A coincidence. Yeah, but how do you know? Look, just go back to work, act normal, forget this happened. But, Kylie, I'm just... Sarah, believe me. Just go back to work. There's nothing to worry about. <sighs> All right? We've got a problem. Yeah? Yeah, I'll show you. It's not serious, though. Uh, it's probably easy if I just show you. So, uh, it's the bit where the manhole was. But it's damp for some reason, so we, uh, can't carry on till we sort it. Mm, it should be dry by now. Everywhere else is. I knew this was gonna come right as long as you know where. He'll be all right, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, anything could be sorted. It's just a question of knowing what to do. Well, um, 
What are the options? It could be something simple and you just treat it, or it could be more serious. And then what? And then we have to dig it all up and start again. <laughs> You haven't got your leaks anywhere now. Not that I know of. Okay, Lonnie. Cheers. Any ideas? Nothing I haven't already thought of. I don't want this place digging up. Us neither, but we might have no choice. No, I'm sorry, it's not an option. We had all the mess before, we have to move on now. But if it's damp, it won't go away until it's sorted. No, there has to be another way. I'm gonna get your hopes up. Your grand are you nicking that? We've got a problem. You can try and dry it out. Well, they can't dig it up. Well, that's what I said, but they might not have a choice. Oh, let's go have a look. You don't think it could be... What? His body decomposing or something. Nah. Oh, and they found a dead body in the canal. I said it couldn't be him, but Sarah's convinced it is. She's really close to losing it. Just want to talk some sense into him. so calm when we found his body. It's eating away at my brain. It's not, Callum. Oh, what? So two guys, both in their 20s, get dumped in a canal at the same time? Sarah, you're worrying about nothing. He's got to be him. There's going to be DNA and all kinds leading back to us. Unless there's something that you're not telling me. There is, isn't there? What? Why don't you want me to think it's Callum? Is it because you don't want me to worry? Is that it? It's not working. Look at me. You keep saying, oh, at normal, like nothing's happened, but the less you tell me, the worse it is. Kylie, answer me. Like David said this morning, you just have to get a grip. Are you not listening to me? More people are going to start to ask questions. You're worried that I'm going to give the game away. Well, the more you keep me in the dark, the more likely that is to happen. The less you know, the better. It is Callum, isn't it, the body? Just sit tight. <sighs> I've had enough of this. Where are you going? I'm going to the police. If you do that, we all go down. We're going down anyway. It's only a matter of time before they trace it back to us. No, they will never, ever find out. They will! Don't be stupid, just get away! No! <laughs> You are not going to the police. Hey, up. More fun and games over at the plot. I can't live like this. is all I think about. They are going to find out what we did. At least if I are own you up. Mad? Sarah, please don't do this. When the truth comes out, Look, they will never find Callum's body. Trust me. How can you be sure they haven't already? Just, um... Kylie, you're not being honest with me. Right. Go to work. Come round later. I'll tell you everything. You better add to him. Kylie, we gotta go deal with this man home. Listen, Kylie, I wanted to deal with this man home, but girl said I hadn't to bother. Oh, it's fine. Look, we've sorted it. Really? How? Well, I borrowed this off Audrey. You guys have done a great job. I'm not blaming you. Hang on, I'm meant to say it's fine. You're meant to say it once we've been up and doing it again. This concrete is not being relayed. Okay. But that thing is a complete waste of time. You might as well blow on it. Gary said that we needed to dry the place out. So we hire a dehumidifier. You okay? Some more upset you. No, I'm fine. Well, there's something wrong because you're not yourself. Do you mind if I um I don't work today? You're not feeling well. Oh, there's something I need to do. I have to go to the police. Why? What's happened? <sighs> that thing in the paper. Body licking out. Yeah. Hmm. What's that got to do with you? Nothing. I just, I've got this, I've got this awful feeling that Callum might be involved. Involved? Look, I'm probably wrong. Well, involved in what way? I mean, 
He's are you saying you think he's responsible? I mean, I, I know he's a nightmare, but you saying he's a murderer? No. No, it's um it's a mad idea. You don't think you don't think the bodies can, do you? Well, listen, if you're in any doubt, you need to tell the police what you know. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Right, I'll, I'll go now. Where's Sarah? Um, she left early. Where's she gone? Do you know? Michelle! <sighs> Just the police. The police? Well, we saw this thing in the paper where they found a body in the canal and she thinks it might How be How long camel. ago was this? About an hour ago. Do you realise what you've done? What I've done? I'm way down the All the stuff you said to her. Hang on a minute, what are you on about? Sarah, anyone could see she was a loose cannon and then you like the touch paper. All I said is that she has to pull herself together. She can't. That's why she's gone to the police. What? I thought I talked around, at least bought us a bit more time, but then she walked out of the pub. What, well, we got to stop her? When did she go? Ages ago. Right, OK, you go fetch Max, all right? Uh, I'll go see if I can find no, her. No, you go. She'll definitely tell him everything. No, you fetch Max, I'll go. No, listen David, to me. David, I mean it, I am going to sort this. Right, OK, fine, go. But the second you get there, yeah, text me. When was this? Three days ago. Um, excuse me, I need to speak to somebody. It's important. Well, if you'd like to take a seat, there'll be someone along to see you shortly. Right, you said three days. Yeah. Come on, um, I'm sorry about the delay, miss. I'll be with you as soon as I can. Stop! What are you doing? Involving the police in a stupid family row. Give us a minute. I'm not thinking straight. What time that was? What happened was a tragic yeah. accident. Will mm -hmm. we tell that to them? And then hopefully... And then what? They go, oh, thanks for that. I'm sure we deserve to die. Sounds like you performed a public service, madam, on your way. Do you not care that somebody died? Of course I care. I don't regret saving you from him. He didn't deserve to die. If you drop me in this, I am going to go down for a very, very long time. If we were going to report this, we should have done it the night it happened. <sighs> it's too late no. now, Sarah. We have to tell them the truth about what happened. Callum is the reason it happened. Oh, I can't believe we're having this conversation ten feet from a copper. That's it. Then the copper turning up at the house. Sarah, please. I am begging you as a mum. Let's just get out of here. Marion is a mum. You know, I am not having any more emotional blackmail. It's just better that we admit what we did. It's very novel, all this. But you see me, I'm a little bit more selfish. And I think deep down you are too. I think the real reason you're doing this is because you're scared. Well, I am too. I'm bricking it. OK, so listen. They won't find him, I swear to you. How can you be so sure? He's not in the canal. Where is he? Come on with me and I'll show you. How do you mean? You okay, love? Um, I, she's right. I, I'm making a fuss over nothing. Just a few more minutes, we'll be able to sort you out. Where's Sarah? Just come in. I didn't blab. I couldn't. I haven't got the guts. Well, that and uh, Kylie tells me there's no way anybody's ever going to find him. I've said we'll tell her everything. I've been promised answers. So where is he? What have you told her? She has to know the truth, David. That's the deal. Kylie? Where is he? I only brought this round, but he said if it doesn't work, then I'll have to think again. It had better flaming work. What's going on? What are we doing here? Um, the night of the accident, we never got a chance to move the body. What do you mean? Where is it? We meant to, but then Tony came round to put the concrete down. It was too late. 
This is Callum's final resting place. I thought I had somebody in here. What are you doing? Sarah. I let myself in. I just thought I had to see it again. There's nothing. And what did you expect? A little cross and some flowers? Right. You go and put the kettle on and we'll be through in a minute. Joe, so I can't believe we told her. We had no choice. Let's just hope that she can keep it together. Look, can you tell Audra that I won't be in today? It's Jason's last day and I want to make sure that it gets finished. Doing what? Fetching, carrying, whatever it takes to get it done. Well, whatever we do with this room, it's not going to make any difference as to what's underneath. Maybe not. But at least when it does get done and Gail's moved in, at least it won't be as flaming creepy. I don't know how you cope. You're like no drinking lark. It's easy to report, to be honest, mate. Yeah, it's just that cold beard after work I'd miss. Me and all, that first pint when she clocked off. Oh, yeah, that smooth, ice-cold beer as it hits the back of the throat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, nothing <sighs> like it. <laughs> you bought a pair of alkies. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. You heard anything about Callum? Why would I? I thought Sarah might have said something. Has she seen him? I don't know. I can try and find out. Yeah. You were supposed to be here half an hour ago. Yeah, well, we've had to pick stuff up. Yeah, get Kettle and we'll work faster with the brew inside us. Well, yeah, once we've got started. We? Yeah, I'm working with you today. We need to get this place finished before Gail gets back and the pace you lot work at. She'll be in a retirement home before it's done. How can you refuse an offer like that? Because she's not qualified. Look, we're the ones paying for it, right? So if I want to help, I will. Fine. I'm the boss round here. You do as I say. Let's just get started, yeah? Uh, pint, please, Sarah. I was, uh, yeah, meant to ask, what's going on with uh, you and Callum? How do you mean? You still seeing him? Are you mad? To what he did to Jason? Mm. All right. Mm. So, um, he's not been sniffing around? Not even been C Max. Well, from what I heard, he had some bad lads on his tail. What bad lads? Uh, do, do you want a pint? I, I can't stop, actually. I've just come uh, to ask if you and Bethany fancy tea at ours tonight. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, uh, that'd be lovely. Thank you. So neither of you got any idea where Callum is? Why do you care so much? Well, why do you think? He nearly killed my brother, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, well, I think he'll turn up sooner or later. Scum like him always do. Yeah. Cheers. See ya. Everywhere I go, I hear his name. Yeah, just round your nerve. All right? Once the garage is finished, this will all be over. For good. Right, that's lunch, lads. Got a rovers or what? No, mate, I'll probably go and have something there. And I'd rather steer clear, to be honest. How about the flying horse? That daft landlord owes me a favour, so I might be able to blend you free lunch. Well, soon as though, Mia, why don't I do with some buddies? Cheers, love, but we prefer beer with our buddies. Well, I can grab us some cans and all my treat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yes, it's me. Free lunch is a free lunch. Yeah, well, you all keep going. I'll get it sorted. I make a mean butty, me. I hope she's not back on the speed. <laughs> you alright? Yeah, good. You? Yeah, cool. Can I have a pint? Liz in. No. Good. Alright? Yeah, good. So, what's the word? She said they haven't seen him in a couple of weeks, so no news is good news, right? What can I get you? Um, two lagers, please. We were just talking about Calm. Yeah, we were just talking about that. I think he's disappeared. But, um, can have a Sam surprise and made up a big drug dealer after him. So he's gone to ground? Yeah, we yeah, should concern that. Amy. All right, you lot still at it. Uh, we're just finishing up now. No, you're not leaving it in this state. Well, we just do the building work as specified, love. I mean, you'll have to get the, uh, the decorators in and do the rest. Yeah, and besides, if we have to work another day with this one, there'll be murders, eh, Kylie? Oh, uh, you want to try living with her? Listen, <laughs> <laughs> chin up, yeah. It's nearly over now. 
Nearly over. There is a dead body under there, and they're leaving the place half done! What are you doing? Riley, get out of there! I said stop it! Get out! The kids are gonna be a stop it! Calm down! Lisa, the patch is nearly dry, all right? And as far as everybody's concerned, Callum is miles away. He's not, though, is he? He's here, in this house, with us. And he always will be. And before, I had a little peek when Jason and Tony were working on it. I think it could be dead cosy, that. Yeah, well, Gail thinks that now. What, was she not keen? Well, it helped when we stopped saying she was going to go live in the garage and started calling it her annex. <laughs> Joy, it reminds me of one of them little prefabs that they stick on the side of hospitals and schools when they run out of space. Yeah, my mum likes to see it as a separate wing. Ooh, very down to happy. <laughs> but listen, uh, thanks for covering for us today. Carly just wants to get it all decorated before my mum comes home. Yeah, no worries. Right, I better get in anyway and put the kettle on. You know what your grand's like. Yeah. Oh, and uh, good luck with your decorating. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. Text you. Right, oh, sorry. We could do with some help finishing off Mum's Desrez before she gets back. I'm glad you find it funny. Then what do you want me to do? Ah, the workers! To get used to it. Worker, actually. Hold on. I've reorganised stuff at the beach so I can help you, so you can. Yeah, but I just. But, 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 but what? Oh, quite a family disagreement. I'm off. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Courtesy of Jason. You know, washing brushes that we're actually using isn't helping. Suit yourself, then. Look, we know it's hard. It is for all of us. Uh, am I the only one working around here? I do have a business to run. Yeah, we're coming through now. Right. Wouldn't hurt for you to get your hands dirty. No sugar in mine. I've got paint on my hands. Hi. I need to ask you a few more questions about Callum Logan. All right, if we come in? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, come in. Being his son? Uh, no, no, we haven't heard from him. Have we? The thing is, he's not the most reliable person. I mean, he's here and then he disappears. Mm, according to his mum, that's exactly what he's done. Oh, right, well, at least we'll get a bit of peace then. We have to take skipping bail seriously. Yeah, well, we were just going to make a cup of tea. Do you want one? Yeah. 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 Go on. Right. How's the conversion coming on? Yeah, yeah, good. I'll speak to Max, but to be honest, I don't think Callum's stupid enough to be getting in touch. Has everyone gone on strike or what? What's happening? Callum's gone missing. Was that? That's what I said. Same goes for you, yeah? I never... Just give us a call if you hear from him. What, he dumped her? So I don't think he's likely to be doing that. Well, you never know. Right. Thanks for the tea. Yeah, no problem. I'll see you out. And on that incredibly sweet note, I'm going to finish cleaning the brushes. I mean, you two get your backsides in there, give me a hand. Sarah? Sarah? Sarah, wait. I'm fine, really. Well, you must have been chopping some pretty strong onions. What's wrong? I can't. Yeah, you can. There's more to my job than sermons and sacraments. I need to listen, it's what I'm for. Some things you're just best off not hearing. Uh, how about letting me be the judge of that? I just... because... Surprise! What? Well, I got nearly that from the sweatshop, so I thought I'd... Go home and make myself beautiful. We're all ready for our date tonight. I'll, um, I'll leave you to do uh, it. No, Sarah, no, honestly, hold on. I'm good. I'm thanks. 
What's the matter with her? She broken a nail? No, she seemed pretty upset, actually. Oh, there's always somebody upset in that house. I reckon it's built on some old Indian burial ground, me. Come on, want to hear all about your day? It's been involved in a tug of love. Not that this new girl did much tugging. No? Nah. She was only winding Beth up. She won't look twice at Kirk. And even if she did, it won't be in a good way. Uh, sorry. You all right? Mm, yeah, it's just, um, just something at work. Oh, and there's me banging on about Beth, Kirk and the boss's daughter. How did the Holy Trinity? Oh, don't be silly. I'm sorry. If it matters to you, it matters to me. Likewise. Anything I can help you with? Uh, no. No. Thanks. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't think I can relax until I've sorted it out. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll be back. Um, it shouldn't take too long. I just... Um, I'll feel better once it's dealt with. Just order me started. You know what I like. OK. Thanks for understanding. Well, won't bother asking about the bouquet. Oh, I didn't touch the sides. Look, I don't know if you saw it in the paper or not, but they've identified that body they found. It was some poor lad from Berry at work, Callum. Right. I'll, uh, I'll have another drink, please, Michelle. Well, I mean, I know that means he's still out there, but... You know, Look, I know me. you mean well. I don't want to talk about it. I just want another drink. I was hoping you'd still be here. I'd see Graham in the seat for a minute. I told you I'm OK. No, I disagree. You were going to tell me something earlier. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not the impression I got. You know, sometimes it helps to unburden yourself. Nothing's going to help me. Yeah, you never know unless you try. Look, I can't talk to you. I can't talk to anyone. Whatever it is, it won't be anything I haven't heard before. I wouldn't be too sure about that. I mean it, Sarah. You can tell me anything in the strictest confidence. Don't go making promises, Vicky, you can't keep. It's not a promise. It's an obligation. Look, I, I might be Anglican, but I'm still bound by the seal of confession as much as any Catholic priest. Whatever you tell me has to remain between us. So, shall we uh, grab a seat? We're good at first. They treat me well, make me feel special. And then things started to turn sour. He was very controlling. It made me feel like I was just being used. Mm. Why didn't you walk out on him? Believe me, I wanted to. It wasn't that simple. He was very clever. He was good at manipulating people. It was my fault. It was all my fault. And I, I should have walked away long before. Before what? Hiya, Sarah. Is everything all right? It, 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 Sarah just needs a little chat. It's fine. What's the problem? Is there anything I can do? Please. Yeah, okay, just so long as you're all right. Bye. Sorry, I don't think this is a good idea. But no, please stay. <sighs> Look, we're making progress. I can't. It's not here, there's everyone. Mm. Let's go somewhere else, out back. You're more private. Nothing has. 
So, you were saying something happened? Yeah, I am. Um, I wanted him gone. Once and for all. It was just me and him. I should never have put myself in that situation. No, you mustn't blame yourself. It's easier said than done. I've never seen him like that before. He just totally lost it. He attacked me. Oh, and I just thought, you know, he was lashing out. He was going to calm down, but he didn't. Then he wasn't going to stop. I didn't terrify him because there was nothing I could do. And that's why... But I never, I never meant for it to end the way that it did. You've got to believe that. It's all right. <laughs> you survived. You're okay. <laughs> so what happened next? <laughs> How did it end? Um... Well, so that's what I'm talking about, the relationship. I just... I didn't mean for it to end that way. I didn't want him to hurt me like that. <sighs> yeah, so I, just, I got rid of him. Right. Well, between us, we're going to make sure he can't do this to you again. He won't. He's off the scene. For now. It was Callum, wasn't it? No. No. No, it was, it was another boyfriend him a while back. I just I get flashbacks about it sometimes. I know what Callum's capable of. The only way it's to protect yourself... It's not him, OK? All right. But whoever it was needs to be punished. Not just to protect you, but other women. He won't do it again. And I brought it on myself. I provoked him. No. In my last parish, I worked with the women's refuge. And I saw the victims blame themselves, excuse their partners, even with the bruises fresh on their face. But there are no excuses, Sarah. I'll come with you to the police. I'm going to be with you every step of the way. All right? I know what I'm asking isn't easy, so you should sleep on it. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll walk you back if you like. Thanks. Um, like I said, you know, um, he's not around anymore. I don't need a bodyguard. Well, that's good, because um, cheek turning and bodyguarding don't exactly mix. No, I just, just fancied a stroll if you don't mind the company. Well, that's a big one, Tris. Hey. Look, uh, he shot you all right? Yeah, I'm a bit bad, thanks. I'll settle for that. The miraculous healing's the, uh, the boss's territory. Um, huh? I've, uh, I've just realised that I've forgotten my jacket. I'll just be a second. So, how is she? Really? You heard her. Yeah, and I saw her earlier. Come on. <laughs> What's going on? If I could tell you, I would, but I can't betray Sarah's confidence. Ah, fair enough. Wouldn't want you getting uh, struck off. <laughs> More struck down in my business. <laughs> well, whatever, just... You just make sure she's all right, yeah? I will. Let's see. Uh, it's good you're looking out for her. <laughs> Maybe there's hope for you yet. Nope. Still not getting to heaven. Right. This is you? Yeah. Thanks for listening tonight. Like I said, it's all in the job description. And if there's ever anything else you need to discuss, anything that's still troubling you... I'll keep it in mind, thank you. I hope so. All right, good night. Good night. Uh, Sarah. Yeah? Whatever you decide to do, just... Um, just promise me you'll do one thing. If I can. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. You were the victim. And Callum, well, the man responsible, he needs to get what's coming to him. And above all, he needs to be prevented from doing this again by any and all means necessary. 
you really think that? Absolutely. I've seen the consequences of domestic violence up close. I've seen the lives it's destroyed. And if we could just take one of the perpetrators out of circulation, then it'll be a good day's work. I'm sorry if that seemed a little bit hard-lined. I know we're meant to be in the forgiveness business, but um, there are some people that society's just better off without. I want you to think about that. Yeah. I will. Thank you. Anytime. You all right? Hiya. Do you want a jelly baby? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I've just been to get Nick a paper. I don't know why he doesn't get it delivered, though. It's not like he can't afford it. What's going on? Nothing's going on. Well, are you on something? David? Well, how come one minute you're on the verge of a nervous breakdown and the next you're handing out jelly babies? Well, I did a lot of thinking. I've just got a better perspective. Don't look so worried. It's going to be OK. And, Callum, you can't hurt anyone now, so that's a good thing. You don't have to worry about me. I'm going to be OK. <laughs> Yeah. Don't, don't get the red one, though, because they're Bethany's favourites. <laughs> uh, where's mine? In the kettle. I made you a tea this morning. I was in a rush. What rush? To drink my coffee. <laughs> Hi. Hi. No, she's not here. So what's in the box? It's a sticky bum. Oh, that is so thoughtful. It'll go really nicely with my cup. Yeah, it's, it's for Maria. Oh. She's just popped out some biscuits. Oh, well, is it OK for wait? Yeah. I think it'll take you a lot more than that to get you out the doghouse. <laughs> I'm not in the doghouse. Oh, really? Well, you know she's in a very prickly mood today. What have you done? I've not done anything. You mm, better not be cheating on her. I'm not. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You gay? <sighs> no. <sighs> David. It's just that she had a little bit of an upset with a, a gay Bella before. Well, I'm not gay. So what is it then? Well, maybe I'll wait outside. Don't want to get in your way. Bye. Bye. Oh, he's done something. Yes. Yes, he has, I know. And we're going to find out what. Oh. So Luke's told Maria that he's only going to watch. But then him and his mate sneak the car out of the garage and go and drive in the race. How did she find out? Norris. Oh, I don't want to be in his shoes. No, take a lot more than a sticky bun to get out of that doghouse. Mm. Have you seen Sarah this morning? No, why? Mm, she was just acting dead weird. Weird how? Well, like, calm and chilled out. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but... I'll get it. <laughs> Oh, hi. Hi. Um, I was just passing and, um, come in. It's Callum's mum. Um, I'm sorry if this is inconvenient. Uh, I was hoping I could have a word. David! Is everything okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah, fine. How's the family? Yeah, good. Sarah? Yeah, she's all right. Oh, good. She just, uh, she seemed a little bit down the other day, that's all. No, no, she's good. Oh, great. No, I'm pleased to hear it. All right. Gran's been asking where you are. Apparently, Maria's got to go Cyprus. Right, well, uh, we need to have a talk in private. I'm working. We'll take a break. Why does everything have to be done your way? Because you don't want to have this conversation in public. <sighs> Oh, Michelle, is it all right if I just take a five-minute break? David, he, um, he's got some news about my mum. She's in Italy. Yeah, I know. Is she all right? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. It's just family gossip. OK, well, five minutes, yeah? Yeah, yeah no problem. Bye. Seems Vicar Billy was asking about you. Really? What did he say? Nothing. 
And he's not supposed to, is he? He's well trained at taking confession. I never said anything. Really? So why is he so concerned for your welfare then? Because he can see how upset I am. Look, the only thing I've ever said to him is that my ex-boyfriend attacked me, but I never said it was Callum. Well, he's bound to think it was Callum. Who else is it going to be? Why did you talk to him at all? Because this whole thing is freaking me out. So then talk to me. I can't talk to you. Well, then don't talk to anybody. You don't understand. It's easy for you. You have no idea how I feel. Oh, but you feel better after talking to Reverend Billy? Yeah, I do. Do you feel like going back to him and giving another instalment? No. You let one drip of truth come out. That turns into a trickle, then a flood, then the cops are knocking on our door. I never said anything to Billy. You're a liability, Sarah. Oh, this isn't easy. <sighs> you, you lie for England. I hate all these lies everywhere. I look, I see him. Well, then get out of town. Fast. What? If you can't hack it round here, go back to Milan. Go away. But I'll live here now. I need to find a way how to get into that thick skull of yours, just how important this is. I'm... Only three people know the whole truth. Me, my wife, and you. So you just think about that for a second, because if you cause the cops to come calling, then me and Kylie will tell them it was you. What? Three defendants on trial, and two of them are saying the same story. It was you that lured him to the house, you that killed him, and you that made us cover it up. Our word against yours. Truth comes out, we'll make sure it's you that goes down for murder. You were St. Callum. Just looking out for my family. I am your family. Start to like it then. We stick together. We don't go blabbing to the local vicar. You're a bully. You just like it. Only when I have to be. Oh, I hate you. Yeah, well, I can live with that as long as you keep your trap shut. I hate what we did and I just hate everything. Well, then do something about it then. Go back to Italy. Oh, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Get rid of me. Well, if you think you can cope, Stay. If you go blabbing, I'll do what I have to. If I were you, I'd be on that plane tomorrow. Maybe I will. Yeah? Yeah, it'll get me away from you. Win-win. Big win for me. You must still have some mates. Oh, there. don't even act like you care. Look, this is not my fault, all right? It was you who brought him round to the house. But Italy sounds good to me. I mean, what have you got round here? Bethany's not gonna like it. Well, she's a kid. She'll do as she's told. I only said what I said because I was worried. No, you meant it. Do you know what? I can't wait to get away from it. Well, it's what we all need. New start. Uh, five minutes, you said. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right, well, uh, I best get back. Oh, and he doesn't even buy a drink. You know, this is not a social club for you and your family, don't you? Go easy on it. Sarah's my favourite barmaid. No, that I really have favourite. Mm. When she's here. Which might not be for much longer. Right, I'll see you later. What do you mean by that? I'm handing him my notice. But I've been thinking about it for a while. I loved it in Milan. I just, I want to go back to Italy. You sure? Yeah. Right, well... I know we can't compete with Milan, but I'll be sorry to see you go. When are you thinking of leaving? Um, soon as possible. Yeah, love. Have you got any pound coins? Nobody ever has any change. They want to buy one bottle of water with a 20 quid note. Yeah, OK. Actually, can I get an orange juice while I'm here? Well, is someone not waiting for the change? Yeah, they can wait. <laughs> so, um... Going back to Italy? Yeah. Do you want to talk? No. I just get the impression that there's more to this than you're letting on. You can't just run away. I can't, actually. What about the man that attacked you? It's not my problem. Really? Look, how would you feel if he attacked someone else? I mean, you're just letting him walk the streets free to do the same thing to some other no, woman. No, I'm not. How? This has got nothing to do with you. I just want to help. I don't need your help. I need to do what is right for me and my daughter. And right now, that is to go back to Italy. That is my decision. Can you please, can you just leave me alone?
Do you ever think about the lamb? Sometimes. Me too. I've got some news, actually. What news? I've, uh, I've booked us tickets back to Milan. I'm gonna catch up with Mum and stay with Uncle Stephen for a few weeks and then find a place of our own. Have you gone mad? Well, we've tried it. It's not working, so we're going back. Well, I'm not. You are. What? No discussion, just do what you want. Because I know it's for the best. It's not for the best for me. I hate it there. I want to be here. Yes, well, you will go. You will like it. <gasps> no way. And if you want me to get on a plane, you'll have to kill me and take me back in a coffin. <sighs> Bethany hated Milan. No, it's not her choice. I may have to get Sarah away from here. She needs to be somewhere where she's not reminded of Callum every five minutes. Yes, but it wasn't her idea, was it? Sarah hasn't got any ideas. Not good ones, anyway. She needs somebody to tell her what to do. I don't know. Well, you've seen what she's been like. Yeah, and sometimes I feel the same way. Why are you sticking up for her? You don't even like her. The further away she is, the safer we are. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Can I come and live here? What? She wants to take me back to Milan. I go to school here now. So much better here, I don't want to go back. Well, Bethany, if your mum wants to take you back... There's then... nothing to go back for. You know she's still worried about Callum. What? Well, he's out there somewhere. David, I'm not going back to Milan. Listen to me. You don't know the whole story. When he was here last, he attacked your mum. He what? She got really upset. He turned nasty, and she thought you were going to kill her. She never said. Well, because she didn't want to upset you. But he told her he's going to come back one night and finish the job. One night when she least expects it. I don't know, when she's walking home from the Rovers. But he's going to take her out. And not only that, he said he'd do the same thing to you. So you see, that's why she wants to take you back to Milan, where you'll both be safe. Hey, come here, come here. What? First Marion, then Sarah, and now Bethany. Well, these things have to be done. Not like that. I'm doing this for you. Do you feel anything? Yeah. I feel scared. Scared that I might lose you and Max and Lily. Remember, I didn't start any of this. I'm just clearing up the mess. You insulted his mother. You've bullied your sister and now terrified your niece. Yeah, because if I didn't do any of that, then the next knock on that door would have been from the police. I can be tough, and I've done some pretty bad stuff. But Marion is worried sick about her son. Sarah's totally freaked out by what we've done, and Bethany, she's just a kid! Did you really need to go that far? Yeah. Is there anything that you wouldn't do? No. Hiya. So, uh, today's the day, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going back to Italy this afternoon. We've just been to the shop to get some magazines for the flight. Uh, right. Well, you know, I'm just on the other end of the phone if you ever need to talk. Not now, Bethany. Right, well, um, have a safe flight. Ta. Well, things must be bad if you've found God. I'm not in the mood for your jokes. I'm not joking. How are you feeling? Just got to get through today. But this time tomorrow, we can be sat in the sun eating pizza. Look, I know you don't want to go back to Milan. I just, I really, I don't know what else I can do. And I know that you're worried about Callum coming after us. I just feel no. like... No. Look, we have to go back. We need to get as far away from here as possible. No flights to the moon, are there?
Now that's not too tight, is it, love? No. Bethany! There you are. What are you doing? It's a lot like she's doing. Shut up, Dave. I'm just giving her a little bit of a touch-up. Well, what are you getting your hair done for when we're getting on the plane? Exactly. Do you think Beyonce gets on a private jet without someone to sort of weave out? Oh, I forgot you lead her lifestyle. Well, I think it's a lovely idea. Travelling style. Hmm. So, carry on. What were you saying about Maria? Oh, well, her mum's had a fall. Now, I don't think she can be very old, but uh, Maria's got to fly out there to keep an eye on her. Mm. Was that from Callum? No. No, it's me mum. She just wants me to take a couple of the tops back for her. Mm, which ones? Uh, a couple of polo necks and the black and gold jazzy dress. Oh, well, I can't picture a black and gold jazzy dress. <laughs> she's going to get what she's given. Well, why don't I go over there with you? My next lady's not for ages. I'm fine. I'll wait for Bethany. Are you all right, Sarah? Yeah, fine. Oh, Ken, I didn't know I booked you in for today. I must be losing my touch. David, could you go and Ken up? No, so sorry, I'm not here for a trim. Oh, thank goodness I'm not going to Lala. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know your radio is on the blink and I had this whole thing knocking around and uh, wondered if it was any good. Oh, Ken. Oh, how thoughtful. Isn't that thoughtful, Sarah? <laughs> well, he was up in the loft and I thought, um, that's got Audrey's name on it. Oh, that is so fantastic. Come on, I've got to give you some money for oh, it. No yes, these are really priced. No, I won't hear of it. It was just gathering dust. Oh, oh, thank you. Well, let me take you out to lunch later. Come on, at the bistro. Just to say thank you. Go on. Well, for sure. I am. OK. Uh, one fifteen. Uh, I'll bulk out and see you've got your hands full. That is fantastic. And... Thank you for this lovely radio. Really, my pleasure. <laughs> oh. oh, he fancies you. Oh, Bethany, don't be so silly. <laughs> oh, I say. Listen to that. It's so clear. Well, you got what you wanted, didn't you? Oh, you reckon? Yeah, David told me. And what exactly did he tell you, Sarah? That I better get back to Milan, because if I didn't, and the police come knocking, that you two are going to drop me in it. He actually said that. Why would I make something like that up? But thank you very much for your support. You know, I really appreciate it. I'd never say that. He's just talking rubbish. And why don't I believe you? Because if I did, you could drop me in it. I know you and I don't really see eye to eye. I don't want you to go. Please don't go. Any fool can see that Bethany doesn't want to go to Italy. She does now, because David's put the fear of God into her. Because she thinks that Callum's going to get her. Well, he's not. And you and I, we both know why. God, I need to get away. I get it. Believe me, I do. But I just don't want everything that's gone on to rip this family apart the way it has. That way, he wins. Callum wins. That threat, it'll go away, and she'll just end up resenting you. I know all about that. I walked out on my kids for six months. You don't even know what's over there for you. I know there isn't a body buried under a bedroom. You might not have a job, anywhere to live, and you're really going to put Bethany through that? Why are you being so nice to me? because neither of us worked in isolation that night. I can't just leave her here. And you know what I reckon you should do? You go to Milan, see your Uncle Stephen, your mum, and then you get back here where we can all support each other. You'd prefer that, wouldn't you? Well, just for a couple of weeks, a month, to clear your head. Well, Callum's after us. Where is he? If he's after you, where is he? If he was going to come for you, he'd have done it by now. I reckon something's happened to him. He'll be with some woman, head over heels, or he's got caught up in some dodgy deal abroad. Well, what if it's in Milan? He can't speak Italian. He can only just about speak English. I honestly don't think we're ever going to have anything to do with him again. OK. What's going on?
So both of you are coming back in a couple of weeks? Yeah. And what's made you change your mind? Carly had a word with her. I can't make my own mind up about stuff. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. What? Don't you think if Callum was going to come for me, you would have done it by now? Where is he? Kylie reckons we'll never see him again. I need to get back to work. Bethany better get her skates on. Oh, I'm here. Just had to downsize because we're only going for two weeks. You what? Yeah, we've had a change of plan. We're just going to go for a couple of weeks and get our heads together. Glad to hear we're not losing you forever. What's going to do with Father Ted? Kylie's had words with me. Oh, brilliant. Nice one, Kylie. When negotiating skills like that, you're like a cut price Angela Merkel. <laughs> Great news, isn't it? Oh, come on, give us a hug and come knit next. Carry on like that. I'm glad to see the back here. <laughs> right. Let me get the door. No word for you. Good. Because I want a word for you. You're vile. What do you think you're playing at? I don't know. Happy families? Well, we won't be, will we, if she comes back? No. No, we won't, because what was it that you said to your sister? Oh, yeah, that's right. Me and the missus, we're going to frame you for murder. Oh, David, you say the sweetest things. And you say the stupidest things. Why on earth would you want the pair of them back here? What do you think? So that I can keep an eye on them? Who knows what Sarah's going to say out there in Milan? She's a liability. She could have a drink and end up telling Bethany you're a ballad of blokes. She's only like that when she's here. Murder on the dance floor comes on and she's like, hey, you know, guess what? I am an actual murderer. Yeah, well, you know what the weird thing is? She's not. You are. Sit down. No, you're right. Sarah didn't kill anyone. I did. And do you have any idea how that feels? Oh, yeah, we all think Sarah's not coping. We can all see she's not coping. What about me? What about you? Maybe I'm just better at putting on a front than her. Oh, fair enough. I don't want her there. I want her here. Because if she isn't here, then who do I talk to, eh? And don't you dare say talk to you. Why? Why not me, eh? After the way you've been lately, you've been so cold, David. We need to protect Sarah. But if she isn't here, it's like I did it for myself. And I never. Well, then talk to me. Come here. Don't touch me. I don't even know why you want to come near me anyway. You know what I'm capable of. Don't say that. I'll say what I want. I wish I were on that plane with her. I wouldn't care where it were going, just as long as it was as far away from you as possible. Yeah, we've got a fruit machine. Yeah, we've got a jukebox and all. Listen. See? No, not fussed if it doesn't play videos like yours. It will, thank you, we're not that kind of pub. How should I know, just work here. I mean, what do I look like? What's that got to do with the price of fish? No! I will not tell you how much I weigh. Wait, do you know what? Just do one, creep. How annoying is it when guys are coming on to you, like, all the time? Yes, I find it a terrible burden. May I ask you something? Yeah, fire away. Is this orange juice fresh? Well, I mean, I didn't pick it from the trees and squeeze it myself, but it was fresh when I poured it from the carton just now. No problem. No, it's fine. Thank you for your help. That's all right. Why am I? Well, actually, no. Tell the lights for the money, but you know what I mean? Yes, I think so. Stick us another in there, will you? All right. Knocking them back a bit, aren't we? So? So? What was it about? What was what about? The argument with you and David. You said we'd had an argument. Nobody. You look dead miserable and you haven't had one for at least a couple of weeks. See well over you, aren't you? It's nothing. It's just this place. Hey, how do you fancy going into town later and getting battered? I'd love to. Yes! But I can't, hon. I'm absolutely skinned. Another time? OK. You know you can talk to me if something's bothering you, don't you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, OK. I'm gonna hit. <laughs> oh, are you all right with that? Oh, it's just some furniture for Gail's granny flat. I thought I'd put it up for a, you know, surprise her for when she gets back from Italy with Sarah and Bethany. I didn't even know they'd gone with her. Oh, well, it was a last-minute kind of thing. 
Anyway, best crack on. What, here, let me give you a hand getting that inside. No, you're all right. It's fine. No, please. I insist. All right. Uh, uh, can I be uh, a bit nosy and uh, have a peek at what you've done to the place? What, now? It'll only be a minute. Uh, unless it's a problem. Uh, no, no, it's fine. Uh, let me just get this lot shifted first. <laughs> Well, they've done a nice job. Looks like Tony is good for something, after all. <laughs> I wouldn't let Liz hear you say that. <laughs> so, uh, what's in these boxes, then? Uh, a table and a cabinet thingy with some shelves. And you're going to put them together yourself? I'll try, yeah. I could always help. Don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I do have a GCSE grade C in woodwork. <laughs> oh, Sean's a lucky man. <laughs> no, you're all right. Oh, seriously, I, I, I don't mind. I've got a couple of hours with nothing to do. No, so I said it's OK. I like to assemble flat pack furniture. It's a hobby. Okay. Well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Hey, I've just had a thought. Maybe I should have one of these built for Norris without the door. I'd never have to see him again then, would I? I said I'm busy. I'm bored. No, I've got to finish this. I can help. Will you just go and play one of your video games, please? I can start making this. No. No, you can't be here. You wait. This will be so easy. Right, out. But I'm good at this I stuff. said out! Dude. Mum shouted at me for nothing. I'm sure she didn't mean it. Where is she now? She's still in Gail's new room. She's been in there for ages. All right, I'll go check on her. She says she wants to be left alone. All right, well, we'll go and get your sister then. Come on. But that by doing all this, by making it look different. It'll get better. I know you need to believe that, David. But I killed him. He's under there, in the cold and the dark, all because of me. But he brought it on himself. <laughs> you can't feel sorry for him. I don't. I feel for Max and Lily having a murder of her own mum. Pulled out a four by four. Sorry, four before. You noticed how blokes always seem to say it like that. Cars here I have no. But then I'm not that interested in cars. Hiya! Hiya! So the upshot is I've seen a lovely little latch back in the paper. Oh, you're getting a new car, Maria? Yeah. Yes, she is. Oh. She'd like one with parking sensors and a built-in sat-nav. And she's not getting a soft top because of the cold in the winter and the flies in the summer. She needs a big boot because of the dog. She don't want a white one because they show up the dirt. Red, that gets pinched. And green, well, that's her unlucky colour. And she doesn't want a four by four... I'm sorry, a four before because of the parking and the petrol, eh? Is that a fair summary? Have I been going on with myself? A little bit. Oh, come on, never mind all that nonsense. What you need, Maria, is a good runner. I'm sure Luke could look out for one, wouldn't you, Luke? Yeah, no worries. There's a lot of sharks out there, and if they think you're a mug, they'll take advantage. No, oh, you keep calling a mug just because I'm a woman. I'm not saying that. Look, it's nothing to do with gender, Maria. Don't be so silly. Luke is a qualified mechanic, and it's very good of him to give up his time. Yeah, well, I'm sure, Audrey, but I've done my research. I can manage fine on my own, Tara. Hi. You all right? We're getting the cocktails in a what? Kylie? Of course I'm all right. Why? Oh, well, you just seem distracted, that's all. Especially when I mentioned David. Everything all right with you two? Of course it is. 
Right. Gito or pina colada? People get mutted lots of times. Uh, they just do, mate. But why, though? Well, uh, maybe they need the practice so they can get good at it. Like at football? Yeah, kind of. So, if girl's been married six times, does that mean she's really good at it? <laughs> like Messi or Ronaldo? <laughs> You'd think so, mate. And why won't Michael speak to her anymore? Well, we're full of the questions tonight, aren't we? Because marriage is complicated, you know? But I'll tell you something simpler. The quicker we get this family tree done, then the quicker we can play some Xbox. Yes. Yes. There's too many leaves on Gail's branches. I can't fit them all on. <laughs> Just try your best, mate. Will Mum be home soon? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she won't be long. Et voilà. Two French 75s. What's in them again? Gin, lemon juice, sugar and champagne. Well, Prosecco in this case, but... Mm. Oh, do you know what? That is blooming lovely. I was hooked on these in France, you know. I thought you were rubbish at making cocktails. Kylie? Well, it's a compliment. No, I've been practising. The only difference between me and Tom Cruise now are the Cuban heels. Yeah, few zeros on your bank balance, love. And <laughs> the Oscars in the trophy cabinet. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> But to be honest, French 75s are the first ones I've mastered, but, um, oh, give me a shout when you're ready to try something different. Oh, maybe we should just quit while we're ahead. <laughs> Come on, then. Still not spilled. About what? You and David. We've been avoiding it since we got here. I don't know, he's just... <laughs> what? Hard working? A good dad? What are you, secretary of the David Platt fan club now or something? I'm not saying he's perfect. He's a bloke for a start. But there is something going on between you and him. I can tell. He's not. What? You know. Well, of course not. David did never lay a finger on me. No, I don't mean that. I mean messing about behind your back. He wouldn't do that either. There might be lots of things, but stupid isn't one of them. Right. So what is it then? Just a bit cold sometimes. Right, what do you mean by cold? It's hard to explain. Look, you know me, and you know I'm going to get this out of you sooner or later, especially after a few more of them. You might as well spill the beans, mate. What would you rather have? Someone like Callum? Mr. I can't care less. Of course not. Oh, please do not tell me you've still got a thing for Callum. Not after everything that's happened. Either. Kaylee! Okay, like he did a disappearing act, remember? And if he does come back, which he will, by the way, I swear Just down... Just shut up, will you? I will never, ever have anything to do with Callum again, all right? Listen, I shouldn't... Let's just change the subject, shall we? I want to enjoy myself tonight. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just want to let me air down a bit. Right, fair enough. <sighs> anyway... Speaking of spilling the beans, what about you and Jason? Do you know what? When I first came back, I thought... After everything that's gone on with Alia, it's... not cutting Elle's chance. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go into town after all? No, I'm not sure. Come on! I thought we were just having a quiet drink. Since when did you do anything quiet? And since when did you get so boring? I put the bar. Boring? Moi, it doesn't have to be a late one, just a few drinks away from me. Come on, you know you want to. You'd look quite good in uniform. We might have to try that sometime. Are you drunk? Not a crime, is it? Or do you want to arrest me, officer? 
What did you talk about? Eh? With Eva, what did you talk about? Oh, lots of things. Like what? <laughs> Nothing you shouldn't have been saying. Do you really think I'm that stupid, David? Your glass of water. I can think of something I'd rather no, have. No, water's all you're having. <sighs> Seriously, Kylie, I don't think it's a good idea of you going out on the lash. Especially with Eva. You know what you two are like when your tongues start wagging. I'm listening. I'm not going to bed till this is sorted. It's important. Long. I think he prefers Ken. <laughs> you know, I think you were right. Bit of a root lift does work wonders. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time you should try something more glam. You know, unleash your inner goddess. <laughs> I think my inner goddess is perfectly contented as she is. Thank you very much. Skipping through a meadow in a maxi and a floppy hat. <laughs> well, whatever you do with it, it'll look fab. You're lucky to have such lovely hair. So, um, I believe you and Ken are friends. Uh, yes, uh, you might as well take your break now, Nessa. Oh. <laughs> How's Max? Still feeling rough with putting back to bed. What time's that lot going to be on? I think Nick's picking him up at 11. Gail's going to be over the moon when she claps eyes on a new granny flat. Yeah. You're going to have to stop calling it that, though. What's this? Cushions. I've ordered them online. Mmm, very nice. Loves the soft furnishings, does Big G. Stick them on a chair, will you? Have you lost the use of your legs? Just do it, will you, David? I'll come every time someone asks you to step foot in there. You have a big hissy fit. What's my mum going to make of that? I'm not having a hissy fit. You can't live the rest of your life all wound up like this. Let's face it, my lado's not going anywhere anytime soon, so you better get used to it. Have you heard yourself? Talking like some gangster or something. We have killed someone, you know. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's yeah, like... Yeah, I know we deserved it, blah, blah, blah. What we did was horrible. It doesn't mean we have to be horrible people. Whatever he was, he was still a human being. Oh, that's debatable. Oh, David, will you just stop it? I'm sorry. All right, force about it. Come here. No. Right, I'll rein it in then. OK, I promise. Hurry up, I've got a client at 12. Well, I can look after Max if you want. not got any appointments. And Gran's got me painting the stock room. Oh. Hello. Right. Oh, terrible flight. Thought my days were numbered. My nerves are shot. Next time I'm going by hovercraft. Where's Sarah? Oh, she's still in Milan. We were sat at the back, so every time the plane lurched, all these heads bobbing about. What, what do you mean? What sort of a? Chucked a tanty in the airport and wouldn't get on the plane. And I'm thinking. We have no right to be up in the air. This is madness. She won't get on the plane? No, well, she was on in an hour in. You know what she's like, alone to herself. Bet she hooked up with some sleazy bloke. Are you kidding? No sane bloke could touch her with a barge pole. And so moody. I mean, worse than when she was a teenager, and that's saying something. Did she say what was up with her? Sometimes, Kylie, it's better not to know. Oh, well, um, Max is feeling a bit under the weather. Do you mind just keeping an eye on him for a bit? Oh, back to reality then, Gail, eh? Holiday well and truly over. Oh, this is new, talking about yourself in third person. Can't wait to see my annex. It looks lovely from the outside. But I do love a bay window. Mm, come see for yourself, then. Well, you've done me proud. It's so chic. Good, glad you like it. Oh, it's fabulous, I want it. It's tough. Gran, can't you get a shed and let me live in it? <laughs> Why don't you shove me in the dog kennel and I'm done with it? Sounds like a plan. Do you know what would look really good in here? What? One of those raised platform things that could put the bed on it. Why don't we stick a plunge pole on the roof and I'm done with it? It's really lovely. I know I'm going to be happy here. Hiya. Hiya, Billy. So, uh, today's the day, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going back to Italy this afternoon. We've just been to the shop to get some magazines for the flight. Uh, right. Well, you know, I'm just on the other end of the phone if you ever need to talk. Not now, Bethany. Right. Well, then, 
Have a safe flight. Ta. Well, things must be bad if you found God. Mind the move for your jokes. I'm not joking. How are you feeling? Just got to get through today. But this time tomorrow, we can be sat in the sun eating pizza. Look, I know you don't want to go back to Milan. I just, I really, I don't know what else I can do. And I know that you're worried about Callum coming after us. I just feel no. like... No. Look, we have to go back. We need to get as far away from here as possible. No flights to the moon, are there? Now, that's not too tight, is it, love? No. Bethany! There you are. What are you doing? What's it look like she's doing? Shut up, Dave. I'm just giving her a little bit of a touch-up. Well, what are you getting your hair done for when we're getting on the plane? Exactly. Do you think Beyonce gets on a private jet without someone to sort a weave out? Oh, I forgot you lead her lifestyle. Well, I think it's a lovely idea. Travelling style. Hmm. So, carry on, what were you saying about Maria? Oh, well, her mum's had a fall. Now, I don't think she can be very old, but uh, Maria's got to fly out there to keep an eye on her. Mm. Was that from Callum? No. No, it's me, Mum. She just wants me to take a couple of the tops back for her. Mm, which ones? Uh, a couple of polo necks and the black and gold jazzy dress. Oh, well, I can't picture a black and gold jazzy dress. <laughs> she's going to get what she's given. Well, why don't I go over there with you? My next lady's not for ages. So. I'm fine. I'll wait for Bethany. Are you all right, Sarah? Yeah, fine. Oh! Ken, I didn't know I booked you in for today. I must be losing my touch. David, could you go and Ken up? No, so sorry, I'm not here for a trim. Oh, thank goodness I'm not going to Lala. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I know your radio's on the blink and I have this whole thing knocking around and, uh, wondered if it was any good. Oh, Ken. Oh, how thoughtful. Isn't that thoughtful, Sarah? <laughs> well, he was up in the loft and I thought, um, that's got Audrey's name on it. Oh, that is so fantastic. Come on, I've got to give you some money for oh, it. I need... Yes, these are really prized. Yeah, I won't hear of it. It was just gathering dust. Oh, oh, thank you. Well, let me take you out to lunch later. Come on, at the bistro. Just to say thank you. Go on. Well, for sure. I am. OK. Uh, one fifteen. Uh, I'll bulk out and see you've got your hands full. That is fantastic. And... Thank you for this lovely radio. Really, my pleasure. <laughs> oh. oh, he fancies you. Oh, definitely don't be so silly. <laughs> oh, I say. Listen to that. It's so clear. Well, you got what you wanted, didn't you? Oh, you reckon? Yeah, David told me. And what exactly did he tell you, Sarah? That I'd better get back to Milan, because if I didn't, and the police come knocking, that you two are going to drop me in it. He actually said that. Why would I make something like that up? But thank you very much for your support. You know, I really appreciate it. I'd never say that. He's just talking rubbish. And why don't I believe you? Because if I did, you could drop me in it. I know you and I don't really see eye to eye. I don't want you to go. Please don't go. Any fool can see that Bethany doesn't want to go to Italy. She does now, because David's put the fear of God into her. Because she thinks that Callum's going to get her. Well, he's not. And you and I, we both know why. God, I need to get away. I get it. Believe me, I do. But I just don't want everything that's gone on to rip this family apart the way it has. That way, he wins. Callum wins. That threat, it'll go away, and she'll just end up resenting you. I know all about that. I walked out on my kids for six months. You don't even know what's over there for you. I know there isn't a body buried under a bedroom. You might not have a job, anywhere to live, and you're really going to put Bethany through that? Why are you being so nice to me? Because neither of us worked in isolation that night. I can't just leave her here. Then you know what I reckon you should do? You go to Milan, see your Uncle Stephen, your mum, and then you get back here where we can all support each other. You'd prefer that, wouldn't you? Well, just for a couple of weeks, a month, to clear your head. Well, Callum's after us. Where is he? 
If he's after you, where is he? If he was going to come for you, he'd have done it by now. I reckon something's happened to him. He'd be with some woman, head over heels, or he's got caught up in some dodgy deal abroad. Well, what if it's in Milan? He can't speak Italian. He can only just about speak English. I honestly don't think we're ever going to have anything to do with him again. OK. What's going on? So both of you are coming back in a couple of weeks? Yeah. And what's made you change your mind? Carly had a word with her. I can make my own mind up about stuff. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. What? Don't you think if Callum was going to come for me, you would have done it by now? Where is he? <laughs> Kylie reckons we'll never see him again. <sighs> I need to get back to work. Bethany better get her skates on. Oh, I'm here. Just had to downsize because we're only going for two weeks. You what? Yeah, we've had a change of plan. We're just going to go for a couple of weeks and get our heads together. Glad to hear we're not losing you forever. What's got to do with Father Ted? Kylie's at words with me. Oh, brilliant. Nice one, Kylie. For negotiating skills like that, you're like a cut price Angela Merkel. <laughs> Great news, isn't it? Well, come on, give us a hug and come knit-knack. Carry on like that. I'm glad to see the back here. <laughs> right. Can we get the door? No word for you. Good. Because I want a word for you. You're vile. What do you think you're playing at? I don't know. Happy families? Well, we won't be, will we, if she comes back? No. No, we won't, because what was it that you said to your sister? Oh, yeah, that's right. Me and the missus, we're going to frame you for murder. Oh, David, you say the sweetest things. And you say the stupidest things. Why on earth would you want the pair of them back here? What do you think? So that I can keep an eye on them? Who knows what Sarah's going to say out there in Milan? She's a liability. She could have a drink and end up telling Bethany or a barload of blokes. She's only like that when she's here. Murder on the dance floor comes on and she's like, hey, you know, guess what? I am an actual murderer. Yeah, well, you know what the weird thing is? She's not. You are. Sit down. No, you're right. Sarah didn't kill anyone. I did. And do you have any idea how that feels? Oh, yeah, we all think Sarah's not coping. We can all see she's not coping. What about me? What about you? Maybe I'm just better at putting on a front than her. Oh, fair enough. I don't want her there. I want her here. Because if she isn't here, then who do I talk to, eh? And don't you dare say talk to you. Why? Why not me, eh? After the way you've been lately, you've been so cold, David. We need to protect Sarah. But if she isn't here, it's like I did it for myself. And I never. Well, then talk to me. Come here. Don't touch me. I don't even know why you want to come near me anyway. You know what I'm capable of. Don't say that. I'll say what I want. I wish I were on that plane with her. I wouldn't care where it were going, just as long as it was as far away from you as possible. Hey, we've got a fruit machine. Yeah, we've got a jukebox and all, listen. See? No, I'm not fussed if it doesn't play videos like yours. It will, thank you, we're not that kind of pub. How should I know, just work here. I mean, what do I look like? What's that got to do with the price of fish? No! I will not tell you how much I weigh. Wait, do you know what? Just do one, creep. How annoying is it when guys are coming on to you, like, all the time? Yes, I find it a terrible burden. May I ask you something? Yeah, fire away. Is this orange juice fresh? Well, I mean, I didn't pick it from the trees and squeeze it myself, but it was fresh when I poured it from the carton just now. No problem. No, it's fine. Thank you for your help. That's all right. That's why I'm here. Well, actually, now tell a lie. It's for the money, but you know what I mean? Yes, I think so. Stick us another in there, will you? All right. Knocking them back a bit, aren't we? So? So? What was it about? 
What was what about? The argument with you and David. You said we'd had an argument. Nobody. You look dead miserable and you haven't had one for at least a couple of weeks. See you well over, Jim, aren't you? It's nothing. It's just this place. Hey, how do you fancy going into town later and getting battered? Oh, I'd love to. Yes. But I can't, Pon. I'm absolutely skinned. Another time? <sighs> OK. You know, you can talk to me if something's bothering you, don't you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, OK. I'm going to hit. Are you all right with that? Oh, it's just some furniture for Gail's granny flat. I thought I'd put it up for a, you know, surprise her for when she gets back from Italy with Sarah and Bethany. I didn't even know they'd gone with her. Oh, well, it was a last-minute kind of thing. Anyway, best crack on. What, here, let me give you a hand getting that inside. No, you're all right. It's fine. No, please, I insist. All right. Uh, uh, can I be uh, a bit nosy and uh, have a peek at what you've done to the place? What, now? It'll only be a minute. Uh, unless it's a problem. No, no, it's fine. Uh, let me just get this lot shifted first. <laughs> hey, well, they've done a nice job. Looks like Tony is good for something. <laughs> I wouldn't let Lizzie you say that. <laughs> so, uh, what's in these boxes then? Uh, a table and a cabinet thingy with some shelves. And you're going to put them together yourself? I'll try, yeah. I could always help. Don't want to blow my own trumpet, but I do have a GCSE grade C in woodwork. Oh, Sean's a lucky man. <laughs> no, you're all right. Oh, seriously, I, mean, I, I don't mind. I've got a couple of hours with nothing to do. No, so I said it's OK. I, I like to assemble flat pack furniture. It's a hobby. OK. Well, uh, I'll leave you to it. Hey, I've just had a thought. Maybe I should have one of these built for Norris without the door. I'd never have to see him again then, would I? <laughs> Drop it! Mom, it's me. Are you in? Yeah, hang on, I'm just coming. For. Sorry, for before. You noticed how blokes always seem to say it like that. Cars, yeah, I have no. But then I'm not that interested in cars. Hiya! Hiya! So the upshot is I've seen a lovely little latch back in the paper. Oh, you're getting a new car, are you? Yeah, yeah, she is. Oh. She'd like one with parking sensors and a built in sat nav. And she's not getting the soft top because of the cold in the winter and the flies in the summer. She needs a big boot because of the dog. She don't want a white one because they show up the dirt. Red, that gets pinched. And green, well, that's her unlucky colour. And she doesn't want a four by four. I'm sorry, a four before because of the parking and the petrol, eh? Is that a fair summary? Have I been going on with myself? A little bit. Oh, come on, never mind all that nonsense. What you need, Maria, is a good runner. I'm sure Luke could look out for one, wouldn't you, Luke? Yeah, no worries. There's a lot of sharks out there, and if they think you're a mug, they'll take advantage. No, you keep calling a mug. Just because I'm a woman. I'm not saying that. Look, it's nothing to do with gender, Maria. Don't be so silly. Luke is a qualified mechanic, and it's very good of him to give up his time. Yeah, well, I'm sure, Audrey, but I've done my research. I can manage fine on my own, Tara. Hi. You all right? We're getting the cocktails in a what? Kylie? Of course I'm all right. Why? Oh, well, you just seem distracted, that's all. Especially when I mention David. Everything all right with you two? Of course it is. Right. Gito or pina colada? People get married lots of times. Uh, they just do, mate. But why, though? Well, uh, maybe they need the practice so they can get good at it. Like at football? Yeah, kind of. So, if Gail's been married six times, does that mean she's really good at it? <laughs> like Messi or Ronaldo? <laughs> You'd think so, mate. And why won't Michael speak to her anymore? Well, we're full of the questions tonight, aren't we? Because marriage is complicated, you know? But I'll tell you something simpler. The quicker we get this family tree done, then the quicker we can play some Xbox. Yes. Yes. There's too many leaves on Gail's branches. I can't fit them all on. <laughs> Just try your best, mate. Will Mum be home soon? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, she won't be long. Et voilà. Two French 75s. What's in them again? Gin, lemon juice, sugar and champagne. Well, Prosecco in this case, but... Mm. Oh, do you know what? That is blooming lovely. I was hooked on these in France, you know. I thought you were rubbish at making cocktails. Kylie? Why? It's a compliment. No, I've been practising. The only difference between me and Tom Cruise now are the Cuban heels. A yeah, few zeros on your bank balance, love. And <laughs> the Oscars in the trophy cabinet. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> but to be honest, French 75s are the first ones I've mastered. But, um, oh, give me a shout when you're ready to try something different. Oh, maybe we should just quit while we're ahead. <laughs> Come on, then. Still not spilled. About what? You and David. I've been avoiding it since we got here. I don't know, he's just... What? Hard working? A good dad? What are you, secretary of the David Platt fan club now or something? I'm not saying he's perfect. He's a bloke for a start. But there is something going on between you and him, I can tell. He's not... What? You know. Of course not. David did never lay a finger on me. No, I don't mean that. I mean messing about behind your back. He wouldn't do that either. Might be lots of things, but stupid isn't one of them. Right. So why is it then? It's just a bit cold sometimes. Right, what do you mean by cold? It's hard to explain. Look, you know me, and you know I'm going to get this out of you sooner or later, especially after a few more of them. You might as well spill the beans, mate. What'd you rather have? Someone like Callum? Mr. I can't care less. No. Oh, please do not tell me you've still got a thing for Callum. Not after everything that's happened. Eva. Kylie, he did a disappearing act, remember? And if he does come back, which he will, by the way, I swear Just down... Just shut up, you... will you? I will never, ever have anything to do with Callum again, all right? Listen, I shouldn't... Let's just change the subject, shall we? I want to enjoy myself tonight. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just want to let me air down a bit. Right, fair enough. <sighs> anyway, speaking of spilling the beans, what about you and Jason? Do you know what? When I first came back, I thought... After everything that's gone on with Alia, it's... not cutting Elle's chance. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go into town after all? Sure. Come on! I thought we just having a quiet drink. Since when did you do anything quiet? And since when did you get so boring? I put the bar. Boring? Moi? It doesn't have to be a late one. Just a few drinks away from me. Come on, you know you want to. Freckle. <laughs> I've not heard that one in years. <laughs> what is the reason for that? Where have you been? Out. Where'd you go? Oh, like a flaming copper. Actually, it'd look quite good in uniform. We might have to try that sometime. Are you drunk? Not a crime, is it? Oh, do you want to arrest me, officer? What do you talk about? With Eva, what did you talk about? Oh, lots of things. Like what? <sighs> Nothing you shouldn't have been saying. Do you really think I'm that stupid, David? Your glass of water. I can think of something I'd rather no, have. No, water's all you're having. <sighs> Seriously, Kylie, I don't think it's a good idea of you going out on the lash. Especially with Eva. I you know what you two are like when your tongues start wagging. I'm listening. I'm not going to bed till this is sorted. It's important. Oh, it's nice Max coming on for his dinner, isn't it? Yeah. 
It's great, isn't it, mate? Who's that? Eva. She took some photos the other night. I wanted to see them before she posted them anyway. Oh, I look minging. Yeah, well, you were pretty bad. We're a laugh, though. Do you like my family in a tree, Mum? Yeah, it's wicked, that. Nice one, Max. I've got the most branches in my class because of all girls' husbands. <gasps> Don't let her hear you say that. All right, you best start going to get ready for school now, mate. OK. You know, he's been asking where his dad is. One day he's going to realise he's not coming back. What do we say, then? <sighs> no, I just think we cross that bridge when we get to it. Hiya, gang. New girl reporting for duty. Have scissors, we'll snip. Yes. Hi, Nessa. Yeah, Gran said you were starting today. But just a trial run. <sighs> and the only thing you'll find me guilty of is style in the first degree. <laughs> hey, she's going to make you look amazing when she gets cracking. <laughs> Nessa, I've nearly finished. Callie, would you take Nessa and give her a drink while I finish my customer's hair? Oh, G&T, if you've got one. <laughs> Squeeze and a freeze. <laughs> only messing out, only messing. <laughs> Well, this is cosy. I love nails, me. So, have you got much experience in hairdressing? Oh, I was elbow deep in perming fluid before you saw your first rusk. Yeah, I did ten years under Tony Mornay at Peter and Paul's in uh, St yeah. Anne's Square. Yeah. I once cut Sheena Easton's hair, yeah, for a smash hit centrefold. Lovely woman. Double crown. <laughs> a very nice texture to play with. There you go. That's how it looks at the back. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I had my own salon in Salford for a while, but oh, we had a beggar of a landlord. And well, after we had a misguided fling, he upped the rent. Can you imagine? What a loser. Mm. What, Emma? Oh, cheek. <laughs> Nessa, could you keep your voice down a little when we've got customers in? Especially if you're talking about your. What, Sheena Easton? Well, she'll never go bold. Your love life. Oh, I'll take that on board, Aud. <laughs> Don't tell me I can't take feedback. Hey, I'll tell you what, Audrey. Why don't you let me get my hands on your crown in glory? And then we'll show you just what dynamite there is in this little package. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, oh. I can. Oh, I was just going to see how Nessa was oh. getting on. Where's my lady? Uh, well, somebody just went to... Oh, she's gone without paying. <laughs> no, it's not funny, Nessa. Right, I'll go after her. Right, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can okay, help. Okay, really, you don't have... Oh, does that happen a lot? No. Oh. Sorry, Graham, we lost it. Yeah, I'm not as young as I was. Wasn't he brave, old? Riding to our rescue like that? Oh, foolish. Oh, dearie me, how is your leg? Yeah, I just lost my footing on a couple. <laughs> Sit him down. Kylie, bring him a brew, there's a love. Uh, you're the new girl. No, I'll flick the kettle on. Uh, no, I can do it. Yes, sir, I will do it. Like Kylie said, I'm the fresh blood around here. Maybe we can stretch to a biscuit. It's always nice to have a dunk in the afternoon. Do you know what I'm saying, Ken? Nine, fifty. Ready or not, here I come. Just playing hide and seek with my. You're a bigger kid than him. You are. Ah! What? It's on the beam. Max, you scared the living daylights out of me. Then I thought you were him. Who? The uh, buggy man. Now go and hide again. And I'll come and find you. Sorry, mum. No, you're all right. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really trying to get past this. It's fine. I know. You just need to be patient with me. Yeah, and I am. All right, get set, ready or not, here I come. So, have you known Kenneth long? I think he prefers Ken. <laughs> you know, I think you were right. Bit of a root lift does work wonders. Yeah, maybe next time you should try something more glam. You know, unleash your inner goddess. <laughs> I think my inner goddess is perfectly contented as she is, thank you very much. Skipping through a meadow in a maxi and a floppy hat. <laughs> well, whatever you do with it, it'll look fab. You're lucky to have such lovely hair. So, um, I believe you and Ken are friends. Uh, yes, uh, you might as well take your break now, Nessa. <laughs> How's Max? Still feeling rough with putting back to bed. What time's that lot going to be on? I think Nick's picking him up at 11. Gail's going to be over the moon when she claps eyes on a new granny flat. Yeah. You're going to have to stop calling it that, though. What's this? Cushions. I've ordered them online. Mmm, very nice. Loves the soft furnishings, does Big G. Stick them on a chair, will you? 
Have you lost the use of your legs? Just do it, will you, David? I'll come every time someone asks you to step foot in there. You have a big hissy fit. What's my mum gonna make of that? I'm not having a hissy fit. You can't live the rest of your life all wound up like this. Let's face it, my lado's not going anywhere anytime soon, so you better get used to it. Have you heard yourself? Talking like some gangster or something. We have killed someone, you know. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's yeah, like... Yeah, I know we deserved it, blah, blah, blah. What we did was horrible. It doesn't mean we have to be horrible people. Whatever he was, he was still a human being. Oh, that's debatable. Oh, David, will you just stop it? I'm sorry. All right, force about it. <sighs> Come here. No. Right, I'll rein it in then. Okay, I promise. Hurry up, I've got a client at 12. Well, oh, I can look after Max if you want, not got any appointments. And Gran's got me painting the stock room. Thanks for the lift, Nick. See you later. Oh! <laughs> Hello. You all right? Oh! Terrible flight. Thought my days were numbered. My nerves are shot. Next time I'm going by Hovercraft. Where's Sarah? Oh, she's still in Milan. We were sat at the back, so every time the plane lurched, all these heads bobbing about. What, what do you mean? What's over? Chucked a tanty in the airport and wouldn't get on the plane. And I'm thinking, we have no right to be up in the air. This is madness. She wouldn't get on the plane? No, well, she was umming and ahhing. You know what she's like, alone to herself. Bet she hooked up with some sleazy bloke. Are you kidding? No sane bloke could touch her with a barge pole. And so moody. I mean, worse than when she was a teenager, and that's saying something. Did she say what was up with her? Sometimes, Kylie, it's better not to know. Oh, well, um, Max is feeling a bit under the weather. Do you mind just keeping an eye on him for a bit? Oh, back to reality then, Gail, eh? Holiday well and truly over. Oh, this is new, talking about yourself in third person. Can't wait to see my annex. It looks lovely from the outside. But I do love a bay window. Mm, come see for yourself, then. Well, you've done me proud. It's so chic. Good, glad you like it. It's fabulous, I want it. It's tough. Gran, can't you get a shed and let me live in it? <laughs> Why don't you shove me in the dog kennel and I'm done with it? Sounds like a plan. Do you know what would look really good in here? What? One of those raised platform things. I could put the bed on it. Why don't we stick a plunge pole on the roof and I'm done with it? It's really lovely. I know I'm going to be happy here. How are you? Oh, you know. I take it there's still no news? No. I thought when you rang earlier there might... No, nothing. Well, there you go. Um, it's the last of Max's toys. There's a, a couple of T-shirts and a few bits and bobs. Most of it was under his bed. That's... It's absolutely awful, clearing. Callum's flat. Felt so final putting all his stuff into boxes. He hardly took a thing when he left. Can I get you something? Oh, no. Not the tea. It's no bother. I would, only, um... What time does David finish work? Well, don't you worry about him. Well, he made his feelings very clear the last time I was here. Yes, he can be very rude. I can only apologise. No, no apology necessary, Gail. Callum was as bad to you, worse. You do your best as a mum to bring him up right. Doesn't always go according to plan, does it? Callum brought a lot of heartache to this family, but I hope for your sake he's all right. It can't be an easy way to live, not knowing where your child is. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? OK. Why don't you come and sit next to me? You can tell me what you've been up to. Can I have a drink, please? Yeah, you can get yourself a juice from the fridge. Uh, I know the answer's probably going to be no, but I, I was wondering if David and Kylie might allow me to see him. If you got to know me better, then... So what are you making it for me, Steve? Really? It's your turn. You gotta be kidding me. What are you doing here? Look, let's just try and be civil, shall we? Well, what do you want? Well, um, I was wondering, as as I am, Max's gran, if. Oh, no, no, no. Forget about it. If I could just see him once a week or something, once a fortnight even. 
You're not going to make me see Callum again, are you? Of course not. I, I wouldn't make you do anything. Good, because I hate him. He's not my dad anymore. I know, sweetheart. But I'm still your gran. And you're all I've got left. No. Some mornings I wake up and I have no idea how I'm going to get through the day. But the thought of seeing Max, that's... Well, it's what's kept me going. Are you still here? Show some respect. Marion's done nothing wrong. <sighs> Max, come here a minute and let me talk to you. <sighs> I'm so sorry. This is the last thing I wanted. Go on up to your room, son. Max, do as I tell you, please, now. He's actually scared of me. That's not your fault. No. It's your son that's done that to him. That's Callum all over, isn't it? Spreading the joy. He must be so proud. That's enough. You've been a nightmare in your time. If everybody blamed me for everything you've done around here, I'd be pariah. I wouldn't have a friend in the world. Look, I didn't come round here to cause more trouble. I should go. No, it's fine. Kylie... Make Marion another brew. Or something stronger. I want a word with you. Go on. What are you waiting for? All right, so she shows up here, turns on the waterworks, and you're all over her. I'm showing you a bit of common decency. Have you no compassion? Callum could have sent her. Do you ever think of that? Oh, for heaven sake. She could make out she's harmless, yeah, winners all round, and then what's to stop her running off with Max? Well, I trust her, and I think we should give her a chance. Well, I'm not going to take a risk. Sorry. Her son is missing David. If she can get a modicum of comfort from seeing Max, then who are we to deny her? You've made some mistakes in your life, Kylie. You know how easy it can be to go down the wrong path. Callum got out of his depth. He's always trying to prove he's the hard man. But you know he's not all bad. I know. You loved him once. You saw the good in him. I see so much of Callum in Max. He's sweet and cheeky. He's so full of life. I really hope one day... Callum comes home and he faces up to what he's done and he tries to put things right. He's not coming back. How can you be so sure? Because he's a coward. And he used Max to get at us, to wind us up. And when we last saw him, we said that we never wanted to see him ever again. I know that Callum was a blight on your lives and I am sorry. And as I've said, it's not your fault. Now, we've discussed the situation and I think we've come up with a compromise as, as long as Kylie agrees. You can see Max, but David would prefer it if he saw him here with one of us, probably me, staying with you. You are very kind, Gail. And I really do appreciate it, but... Um... Don't try and push it because I'm not happy with this as it is. After today, I don't think I should see Max at all. He's scared of me because I'm Callum's mum. You can win him round. He's been through a tough enough time. I, I couldn't bear to, to put him through any more pain. He's a beautiful boy. And he's a real credit to all of you. If I could just say goodbye. No. You shouldn't have to say goodbye. You've already lost enough. I'm so sorry that Callum made you sad. But I hope that you have some happy memories of him before things went wrong. And I'm glad you've got David. Because he'll be a good dad to you. And 
and you've got your mum and, and Gail, and, and they'll look after you. So you'll be a good boy, won't you? Right, Max, go upstairs now. I'll be up in a minute. I'm sorry. Oh. Um, that's... That's my mobile number. If... If you could just... Send me some photos of him from time to time. Just... Just let me know what he's doing. I hope Callum turns up. Oh, thank you. about you, but I could murder a cup of tea. Well, that's a result, isn't it? Oh, I feel like I've been through the ringer today. Poor Marion. Oh, can we not, Mum? Please, I just feel like we've done this to death. Don't I sometimes wonder where I went wrong with you? I'm sure Marion said the same thing about Callum. Don't compare me to him. Oh, look, if you two are going to have a domestic, I'm going to retire to my annex. Can't wait to get there anyway, all lovely and cosy. I can close the door and shut out the world. Yeah, go for it. All this freedom's making me giddy. It's just a room, Mum. Yes, and I can do whatever I like in it. Oh, the possibilities are endless, aren't they? You can stand up, sit down, have a cup of tea. I might put on my crazy mama dance till you drop DVD. I said we should have had it soundproof, didn't I? I'm going to have an annex warming do. I'm going to do a bit of swanking in front of the neighbours. Why not? Go mad, Gail. Run wild. Thank you. I will. Right tonight. <sighs> Let's crack open some cans. Oh. So, seems Marion's bogged off for good then. Best thing all round. Give it a rest, Kyla. It's just collateral damage, that's all. You are. She loves Callum. She's gonna go to a grave not knowing what happened to him. Will you shut up? She's nothing to us. You seem to take some sort of weird pleasure in all this. It's like it's a game to you. You don't care who you hurt just as long as you're winning. <laughs> that's not true. Go to bed. Oh, well, I'll be up in a minute then, yeah? Don't bother. You done with that bar? You want some toast? How you can calmly stuff your face morning, noon and night beats me. What good starving myself gonna do? Do you know, this folk in Southern Cemetery not had as good a night's sleep as I've had in there. It's all tin pot. Smashing. Should have done it years ago. Yeah, I thought I might feel it being on my own, but no. I'll never feel lonely in that little nanny. Oh. All right, you'll. Yeah, it just slipped out my hand. Jack could do with some butties cutting for tonight. I've got so much to do before the party. Are you sure you want to go to all that trouble? Yes, of course I am. Why wouldn't I want to show off my new quarters? We've lived in the shadow of Sally's conservatory for far too long. Well, I'll tell you what, if you pay for the booze, we'll be there. Oh, don't worry, I've already put in an order with Dad. My annex is going to knock him dead tonight. No way am I going to party in that room. <laughs> this way. All right, it'll be the first time the drinks are on him. We'd literally be dancing on his grave. <laughs> well, nobody's going to be dancing. There's not enough room. No, I'm not doing it. You've got to go. It'll seem weird if you don't. What? More weird than having a finger buffy on top of Max's dad. Shh. You've just got to just forget he's there. Forget he's there? We are talking about a body that I've left under the floor, not something I've left under the grill. Any sign of them coffees yet? Yeah, come in. So, me and Ken, we're taking it slowly. Thanks, love, you know. Out of respect for Denise. Oh, Nessa. It's Deirdre. Oh, Deirdre, of course. But I know there's some might think it's a bit previous. Well, you have to do what feels right. That's exactly what I believe, Rita. Well, from the moment I met him, 
there was a certain electricity. Well, he does wear a lot of polyester slacks, so perhaps to give you a little shock. Still early days. Well, maybe, but those are the best, and I wouldn't want to miss a single one. Is there any chance I can finish early? it would be nice to pop over and surprise him. Mm. Can't be too careful at his age. Yes, you go. Uh, there's no more in the book. Oh, cheers, love. <laughs> I'll give you an update tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I look forward to that. Is my son here? Oh. David, your mum. Everything all right? No, I'm behind with my preparations for tonight. I've got to get food, I've got to get drink, the house needs to do I was wondering if one of you could uh, knock off and give me a hand. Well, Carl is free. Well, what if someone comes in? Oh, no, Punter's going to pitch in now, sweetheart. No, no, I couldn't do that to you. Why don't you go and get everything that you need? Carly will go on and she'll get the house on. Oh, thanks, love. I'll, I'll see you later. Bye, love. What are you doing? Sorry, I can't. How can you not smell that? Corpse is rotten, they stink. Listen to me, all right? It's impossible for any smell to penetrate. No. We had a dead rat in the rubbish chute of our flats when I was a kid. It stank the old block out. Yeah, Callum's not in a rubbish chute, is he? He's under a foot of concrete. Everybody who comes to this party is going to smell it. No, they're not going to... The only thing they're going to be able to smell, right, is relaxing lavender. Why, that's working. You need to get a grip, babe. What was it you said before? I've just got to forget his ear. Well, I can't, because I'm a normal human being with some sort of conscience. I can't just switch it off the way you do. You're going to have to try. Right, if I can do it, then so can you. Well, I can't. Because unlike you, I'm not a psycho. Well, I didn't expect tears of gratitude, but psycho... Really? What would you call yourself the way you've been since it happened? I've been surviving. I don't like some of the stuff that I've done, but I've done it for you, Max and Lily. <sighs> and even Sarah. And Bethany and my mum. And yourself. will not you say that like it's a bad thing? Callum set out to destroy this family, and I swore I wouldn't let him do it. The fact that he's dead changes nothing. It changes everything. Yeah, only if you let it. Kylie, you're going to have to forget about this and move on. Where to? There is no moving on, David. We are stuck here in this house with this secret, with each other, with him. For good, thanks to you. Well, what would you have done? Uh, what do you suppose we do now? What's the master plan, Kai? Because I'd love to hear it. I don't know. You've boxed us in. There's no moving on now. Well, I've boxed you in. Listen, if it weren't for me, you'd be boxed in all right. You'd be, you'd be rotting away in a flaming prison cell if I had to come to the rescue. <sighs> I hope Emily brings her in here, or else there's going to be two corpses in here. Why? Why did you say that to Gail? <sighs> because it was the most credible thing I could think of. Oh, well, cheers for the vote of confidence. What, what do you want me to tell her? The truth? Yeah, didn't think so. So your conscience can take a back seat for a while. Let's face it, it won't be the first time. And where's your conscience, eh, David? Dead in the boot? Do you think I want this? Any of it? Maybe not. But I think a little bit of you's enjoying this. Are you serious? Well, I always knew you had a ruthless streak, but this past few weeks it's gone next level. It's like it's taking you over. Well, yeah, he's had to. None of it's been easy. No? Because when I'm lying in bed at night, staring at the ceiling, watching the numbers change on the bedside clock, all I can hear is you snoring. You've never slept more soundly. What do you want from me, Kylie? I'm trying my best here. Problem is, your best is most people's worst nightmare. I mean, were you always like this, or is it just oh, me that brings it out in you? you there's no, there's, I can't talk to you when you're like this. 
Well, in that case, I'd better go elsewhere then, aren't I? Kylie. No. If you think I am going to stay here, you're even madder than what I thought you were. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about the delay. Well, as long as the ale keeps flowing, you get no complaints from me again. Mm. The granny flat can wait. Annex. What's the hold-up? Uh, David and Kylie are just finishing up in there. Finishing up, eh? Aye, aye. The cleaning. Yeah, and when they've finished the cleaning, they can do your mind. That's if they've got enough disinfectant left. Kylie, is, is, is everything all... Well, Eric has done you proud with this spread, girl. Well, she's just thrown a few chicken drumsticks on a foil plate. It's hardly a airy biker, whatever appearances might suggest to the contrary. I've just passed Kylie. It's a long story. Oh. Thanks, Emily, for coming. Oh, well, I bought you a little housewarming gift. It's, it's just a bottle of sherry. <laughs> oh, well, that's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> All she needs is a tartan blanket and a two-bar fire. The place will be complete. Behave yourself. I'll get you some drinks. Oh, Gail, I'm really looking forward to the grand tour. Oh, yeah, me too. Right up there with Sam Park. Yeah, this is the wall where the mower used to hang. Over there were the tin paints, and in pride of place was that horrible garden ornament. Oh, I remember that hideous frog on a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, that was Mr Toad on a penny farthing. I bought Gail that. He told me it got smashed. Well, um, at least she kept it. <laughs> I'm going to help Mum with the drinks. What's the score with Kylie? Score's the right word. She's back on drugs. Just Mr. Toad. Okay, it's very cosy. Yeah, that's one word. If I were a cat, there'd not be much risk of getting swung. A bit crowded in here, if you ask me. I think it's a fire hazard. Yeah, like your brat. Take it steady. Gail, I love the colours you've used. Oh, I've got clotted cream on the walls. Oh. Someone's a lick off when you're peckish, I suppose, isn't it? to see my tabs, Sally? Oh, yes, please. Oh, there's enough for you don't get every day, love. Why don't you talk to me? Sorry, something you drop into polite conversation, is it? Since when did we have polite conversation? Is it serious? When did it start? No, I think it was just a one-off. OK, there's no such thing as a one-off. Look, this doesn't reflect badly on you or Kylie, you know? It's just a bump in the road. Yeah, well, I think I've got it under control now. Don't do it on your own. Ways out. Yeah, thanks. I'm handling it. That is immaculate, Gail. Oh, I love it, Sally. I feel so cosseted in there. Oh, I bet you do. I'm really jealous. Oh, thank you, Sally. <laughs> you must support someone. Yeah, it, it's really not one of my passions, I'm afraid. Oh, Emily, 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 you've not lived. I tell you what, come down the match with me and Kev. You can have a few bevies, get a pie down your neck. You'd be counting till you die. I, um, Emily, why don't you go and have a look at the ensuite? Uh, yes, I, I will. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Your age is in that book. What were you doing christening it? Don't be so vulgar. She was just showing me every little detail. I mean, it's nice, but it's not as nice as our walk-in shower. No, she get in there, teleport. How many of you are? Uh, I'm holding it for somebody. Who? Emily. I think it's time to get you warm. Look, we need to talk. Not right now. I've got to give Max his medicine. Do you think that's a good idea? It's his bedtime. No, I meant you giving it to him. I mean, shouldn't we be keeping his medication under lock and key again? I mean, for all our sakes. That's what you think's best? No, it's not. Look, the only way we're going to get through this, all right, is by trusting one another. And having a bit of faith. Yeah, but after the last time... Well, what's happened's happened. I can't change that. I wish it hadn't, but... We're just going to have to move on together. Because what we've got is worth fighting for. So... said you were trapped here. Only takes one of us to stay, so if you want to leave, I won't stop you. I never said I wanted to leave. You never said you wanted to stay. Here, do you? I wasn't talking about the house, I was talking about us. He'll always be there, wherever we go. Well, that'll fade. 
I know you don't think so, but things will go back to normal. And I'll go back to normal. Will ya? Yes. Look, this is a crazy situation, all right? And yeah, I've done some crazy things. But I've not enjoyed any of it. I'd much sooner just be having a kick about with Max in the garden, or I'll just sat here on the couch with you. You know, just watching Big Brother and eating cheese on toast. You know, that's the life I want. I don't want this. But maybe that life's gone. I don't think so. I'm not expecting you to love the worst of me. I just want you to love the bloke on the couch. Cos I'm still here. And if you give it time, if you give me time... OK. I'll give it time. Thank you.